All right, so it's Wednesday. I'm here in Oklahoma today. And this week we've been talking about the difference between being a, a human or being a tool. And on Monday we talked about focusing on the truth, that you're a unique individual. It, on Tuesday we talked about accepting responsibility. And accepting responsibility is understanding where you are and where you want to go. And today is Wednesday. We're going to be talking about choice. F-A-C-E in face. This is C for choice. And really, choice is a vital part of any truth. Truths are meaningless unless you choose to embrace them, unless you choose to believe them, unless you choose to make them applicable in your life. One of my favorite things, uh, favorite stories in the Bible is the story of Esther. And the phrase that everyone talks about when they talk about Esther is, is they talk about the phrase, for such a time as this. Who knows whether or not you were put on this earth for such a time as this. Now, that's a great phrase, but a lot of times in saying it, we miss the meaning of the whole story. Esther is supposed to bring about the salvation of the Jews. Her uncle Mordecai sends her a message and says, you've got to go to the king so in order that the Jews will be saved. And Esther says, I can't go to the king. If I go to the king when he hasn't summoned me, then he might kill me. Well, Mordecai says, for who knows whether or not you were put on this earth for such a time as this. But the verse that we hardly ever talk about is the one that comes right before that. And the one that comes right before that is where Mordecai says to Esther, whether or not you do this, salvation for the Jews will come from somewhere. It will come from somewhere else. But as for you and your family, you will perish. You see, in that story, what Mordecai is communicating is Mordecai is communicating that we can't change what God's going to do. God's going to do what God's going to do. The reason that we join God in the work that He's doing is because it's in our best interest. It's what we need. We need to join God in what He is doing. The same is true when we're talking about being a human or being a tool. The fact of the matter is, is you need to be the unique creation that you were created to be because it's for your good. It's for your benefit. It's for your best interest that you be who God created you to be instead of trying to emulate and pretend to be someone that you're truly not. And it's when you truly choose to be who God created you to be that you become the extraordinary person that you were created to be. And that is how we're enabled to face today. Until tomorrow, hey, go be extraordinary today.